Hey there, this is your friend Elliot. So you've come across that iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock on your iPad, right? I know it's frustrating, but don't worry, I've got your back. Now I've seen a lot of methods around the internet promising to help you remove this lock. You may be tempted to try out some expensive software or service that guarantees results. However, there's a better way, a safer and free alternative that is quicker and has proven to work every single time. Today, I will show you multiple legal ways to remove the iPad activation lock, and these tricks apply to iPhones and Apple Watches too. So stick around and let's make that annoying lock message a thing of the past together. Let's dive right into it. Just to make things clear, we're sharing this info for folks who honestly own their device but have forgotten their login details. We're not here to help anyone mess with security on stolen devices. That's not cool or legal. We're all about respecting laws and people's rights. Plus, we're sticking to YouTube's rules and community standards. Now that's sorted, let's get back to it. Let's dive into the nitty gritty. Let's dive into the nitty gritty. Many services out there claim to help with this kind of stuff. Trust me, I've been right where you are, frustrated and trying to find a solution that works. But not all services are created equal, so you've got to know your options. Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app is one of the handy tools you might come across. What's cool about this is that it's AI-driven, making the unlocking process simpler. Then there's Safe Unlocks. These guys have been around for a while and have a decent track record when dealing with that iPhone lock-to-owner issue. Next, there's the iUnlock app. Now, this is a software solution that you can use right on your device. It's user-friendly and has helped many people get back into their iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. Lastly, the folks at lock to owner have a unique approach. They've got a good reputation for helping device owners successfully remove the iCloud activation lock. Remember, we're just pointing you towards some of the most reliable solutions that have proven successful. Now that you've got a lay of the land, we will show you how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. So stay tuned and let's get that lock off your device together. It is important to note that these unlock services typically work best in first world countries, but don't worry if you're outside these regions or prefer not to use the services. We've got a sweet deal for our viewers. We're giving away 250 unlocks weekly. Wanna get in on this awesome opportunity? It's as easy as pie. Here's what you need to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Drop a comment below this video. In your comment, mention your device's model, like Samsung S9, for example, your IMEI number and your country. That's it. You're automatically entered into the giveaway once you've ticked off these three steps. So join in and let's unlock those devices together. All right, let's get started with the unlocking process. First things first, on your phone or computer, open up your browser and head to unlockhere.com. This site features an AI assistant powered web app to help unlock mobile device restrictions. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the site's AI bot. Tell Nifty you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. After that, let it know you're dealing with an iPhone. Don't worry, if you have an iPad or an Apple Watch, you can choose those too. Next comes the bit about entering your IMEI or serial number. If you're wondering what the difference between these two is, I've got you covered. Basically, all iPhones come with an IMEI. On the other hand, you'll also find an IMEI for some iPads and Apple Watches with a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but you'll use the serial number instead for most of them, especially those without SIM card slots. To find this info, press the sleep button on your locked device, then press it once more. You'll see an I in the bottom right corner. Tap on it to view your device info. Now that you've sorted that out, remember to fill in the device information in the upcoming step. You'll be required to input some basic info to link the order to your account, and it's crucial to provide valid details so you receive your order confirmation. Once you've completed all the info, you'll need to check the box to agree to the terms. This is also where you confirm you're not trying to unlock a stolen device, solve the quick captcha we need to prove we're humans, not robots, and hit start process. Now wait for that email with your confirmation code. Sometimes it might sneak into your spam or junk folder, so have a quick look there if you can't see it in your inbox. Grab that confirmation code, head back to the Unlock Here website, key it in, and confirm once more that you're not a robot. And voila, just like that, your unlocking process is underway. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone lock to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone, and as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. 
Don't worry, it'll be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked, so it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap, forget password, or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And remember, we're all about legit methods here. So here are a few legal maneuvers to get your device up and running. Get in touch with Apple support. Seems like a no brainer, right? But the truth is the folks at Apple are your best bet to navigate this lock situation smoothly. Show them the proof that you legitimately own the device and they can step in to help remove the iCloud activation lock. Seek help from the previous owner. Did you buy your iPad or iPhone secondhand? The previous owner might be your savior. They can remotely log into their iCloud account and disassociate the device from their account, which should remove the lock. So there you have it. The ball's in your court now. Use these strategies, do your research, ask around, and don't give up. You're smarter than an iCloud activation lock. You've got this.